Razuki. I'm an NBA skills trainer based out of San Diego, California, and I own the Hoop House. The more you do something, the better you get at it. And so I wanted to train every single day and I wanted to just create new content every single day and continue to absorb knowledge from other trainers to run camps. So I started playing basketball when I was five. I got a hoop, I fell in love with it. I quit every other sport. I never wanted to play another sport again. When you see the mural on the wall, you see you know, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, um, and then you see a lot of new age guys for the kids out here. But I mean, those three were some very inspirational guys, especially for me growing up. Kobe was the one. So the hardest part about being a trainer initially is the fact that most trainers don't own their own gym, and I didn't at the time. And so the hardest thing is getting gym time and finding out where and how you're able, even able to put in the extra work. So every year we would try to bring in another trainer to help us out with camps. So I've worked a ton of camps with Jordan Lally. We brought in Drew Hamlin, tried to bring in Dribble Too Much, uh, Damon Altizer, Devin Williams a couple times, um, Gannon Baker, Cody Topper. Uh, so we've done a ton of big camps and try to also do a bunch of other ones, but all of those built so many connections for me and allowed me to open more doors, allowed me to bring in more players, allowed me to meet new people, allowed me to you know, listen and learn from the way that they run certain things and the way that they teach. And I was able to absorb all of their knowledge and put it into the students that I continue to work with today. I've always said it that the best coaches in the world, unfortunately, are with the best players in the world. And the ones who need it the most are the youth and they get some of the worst coaching in the world. So as long as we can provide and build a great foundation for them to have incredible coaching. And once they turn 15, 16, they're ready to go up, you know, 14, 15, 16, they're ready to go into high school. They have a super, super solid foundation and they've learned the game the right way growing up. And come back. Right there, freeze. So we'll throw it, we'll chase it. Does that make sense? Cool. Obviously, we're playing with So I want to get this. Boom. Well, some of the most notable players that you might know, of course, are going to be Mikey Williams, Jazair Jackson, um, and then we have Alex Crawford, who's another kid we've been working with for a long time. We got a couple other high school projects like this kid, Aiden Lockett, um, Camden McCormick, and a few other guys um, that we're trying to build and help. Obviously, Yassin Garam got his scholarship to Yale. Uh, Mark Ogden will be back as a kid, who we've worked with through throughout um, junior college up until he signed an NBA contract and G League contract. So we'll have a ton of overseas guys back in the summer, which will be exciting. Working with Flight is, is amazing. One, just because he's an awesome person, but his reach is astounding. So I want to help him get ready for March, which is his next, you know, which is his next month. Is helping him a ton and is continuing to build, you know, himself as a basketball player and someone who wants to continue to put out great content. So just making him better is really fun and it's been exciting to see him grow. But two, it allows me to have a greater reach. And the more times that I can, or the more often that I can have a greater reach, I can continue to put out more information and things to continue to motivate and help and inspire the next generation of basketball and hoopers.